Hey guys, Tim here, here with Jason today, and we're gonna do a little feature talking about how to design a PC for somebody else. So say you have a relative, uh, brother, sister, your next door neighbor, somebody at work wants you to build them a PC because you're a PC guru, because you watch my channel. <laughs> yeah, right, right. We're gonna talk about the things I talk to people about when I'm designing a system for them. So the first thing we're gonna talk about a little bit today is you know, the, the kind of budget that you want to spend and the usage that somebody's going to use the computer for. So, where are you going to use the PC? Uh, so, the PC is going to be used mainly in my office space, so it's a converted bedroom, but it's mainly going to be for the kind of the extra computer for the kids, for gaming and video editing, 3D modeling, kind mm -hmm. of trying to teach the kids a little bit more about uh, the computer, so. Okay, so what, I guess, uh, Performance-wise, what what kind of games? What kind of editing? So at this point in time, Minecraft, not too uh, too intense. But I have a feeling nine-year-old's going to turn into an eleven-year-old not that far off, mm -hmm. and, and uh, it's going to start to need to be a little bit more performant as we go on too. So, uh, I guess around design, one of the things I usually think about is, does it need to be like acoustics? Because acoustics greatly affect the case you're going to use, the kind of fans you're going to use, and even to some point the kind of processor and, and video card you're going to use. So I would like it to be as quiet as possible. And I know size doesn't matter for me because it's going to be an office, it's going to be under a desk. So um, I, I really would try and be as quiet as possible without spending too much money mm -hmm. on doing um, you know, acoustical stuff and worrying about liquid cooling or other things yeah. if it's not necessary for other reasons and then obviously if kids are going to use it you know this is one thing guys remember aluminum cases fingerprint so if you're gonna have little kids around it all the time i love fractal cases lots of my viewers love fractal cases but fractal cases have unfinished aluminum or anodized aluminum on the front of them which fingerprint so well, always one thing to think about especially if you have kids guys or this is going to go in an environment with kids uh, you know, usage, you don't want sharp edges, you don't want, you know, flimsy material. Like, you know, you want your kids, especially if they're gonna learn about computers using this, no. you want something solid. So if they decide to take it apart and put it back together, which I did a lot as a kid, that's how I learned, uh, that they're not, they don't feel like they're gonna break stuff and destroy the case, right? Yeah. So high quality case, not too expensive, and uh, no sharp edges, which, you know, some of the cheap cases, don't have rolled edges um, and reasonably quiet okay okay so now that we have kind of the usage defined and and you know the acoustics of the case and kind of the level of um, performance we need um, the next thing you want to ask is price because I always talk about performance first, just because if somebody's like, I want the ultimate gaming machine, and by the way, how much do you want to spend? Oh, $500, that you can set somebody's expectations to be realistic. So it's always good to hear what they want first, so that you can kind of think through what they want and then ask them how much they want to spend. So you can kind of talk them into what they need. So it's either, you know, you'll be able to provide it for the price they want, which is what they'll be flexible on, or you'll be able to provide the performance they want, which is what they'll be flexible on. So, so we, we defined kind of what we want to do with the, the PC. How much do you want to spend? So somewhere around about a thousand dollars. I would of course love to be less, but I also could probably spend a little bit more mm -hmm. depending on what we end up deciding. So, and then, um, you know, one thing I always like to gauge is a lot of people are green these days. Does green matter you know like a high efficiency power supply more important than a better video card or you know where do you feel about that science stuff so i lay it green wise i'm not overly green per se but you know i also know that the more it takes the hotter it's going to be in my room right <laughs> So I, I also, for that sake, would also like right. to watch, you know, the heat output really mm -hmm. is the more concern for me. Yeah. So. And so, so heat output and acoustics actually kind of really tie hand in hand because in a power supply, you know, we'll go on to power supplies here. In a power supply, um, the higher the efficiency rating, typically the less heat is produced because 
what in a power supply the efficiency rating is directly related to how much of the electricity you're turning into heat um, that's usually what that efficiency curve shows you anything above the efficiency curve is you're spending in wasted energy making heat inside your case um, a lot of uh, you, know, you can get a lot of decent quality uh, power supplies now you know gold uh, level power supplies that the fans actually don't turn on until the power supply gets up to about 60 Celsius. So if you're under, you know, light to medium loads, so say somebody's just surfing the web or, yeah. you know, playing Minecraft and it's not really eating at the, the CPU power a lot and drawing a lot of system power, then a high efficiency power supply is gonna be quieter, it's gonna be, you know, less heat. However, at the same time, you know, you don't wanna give somebody a, you know, 80 plus platinum thousand watt power supply, you know, for a, for a, you know, a small gaming machine because you're actually gonna waste more energy just having it sitting there, be ready to do, you know, a thousand watts all the time. Yeah. So you gotta be careful when, you know, you wanna get the right power range and, and case and power supply are actually where I like to spend my money because typically you're gonna replace your video card at some point, you're gonna replace your motherboard at some point, you're gonna replace your, your your P, uh, CPU and your RAM at some point, but if you buy a good solid case and you buy a good solid power supply, typically you're not gonna replace those for, you know, I still use a power supply I've had for 10 years. So, you know, it was gold rated back then, it was a million dollars, but I've been using the same 750 watt power supply for 10 years. So, you know, if you look at it over time, those are components that it's good to spend money on because unless that standard changes, you don't need to rebuy them, right? And if the standard changes, you're gonna rebuy everything anyways, so. It's okay. Exactly. Yep. Yeah.